I've been trying to wake people up and sound the alarm with what's going on in Western North Carolina. And I'm making this video again. I'm crying out to everybody. If you know anybody, please share this video with them. Send this to your news media. Send it to everybody you know, because the fact is we're getting very little coverage. And I think that the vast majority of people in the United States have no clue what in the world just happened up here in Western North Carolina. The destruction that's up there is beyond belief. They have no power. They have no bridges. They have nothing left up there. There's many towns that have been completely wiped out. One of them is Montreat, which you see here. I took Google Earth, I wanted to show you the area. So Black Mountain and Montreat and this whole area seems to be where it's the absolute worst. I lived up here for three years. I still have friends up there. One of my buddies actually told me in his text, he said, utter destruction. That was his answer to what's gone on up there. And I lived up there, I can't believe what in the world's happened. Everything has flooded. So you're bringing in like 30 inches, 20 to 30 inches of rain in these high mountains out here in a short period of time from that hurricane that then just whoosh, come down. Mudslides that have wiped everything out. Montreat is where Billy Graham, the world famous preacher pastor has lived. Okay, I know he died a few years ago, but he still has his house there. I don't even think the house is there anymore. The latest police report that I saw from a police officer up there says Montreat's gone. My buddy said, you won't believe what's happening up here. There's so many things that are gone. There's another place up there called Chimney Rock. There's this world famous mountain range that's up there. A lot of people go and climb it. I did it a bunch of times myself. You can look at some of the pictures and I haven't seen enough. There should be helicopters and aerial views and this should be 24 hours a day on the media right now. They need all kinds of help up there. They need medical help. They need military help. The National Guard should be up there. All kinds of churches and ministries need to get together. So hopefully actually, I would share this with anybody that's a preacher, a church, share it with your pastor. All of the churches in America that actually want to help people that are in trouble need to listen to this and watch this because we're not hearing any of this on the news media. I'm hoping that the news media is going to start covering this in a dramatic way. Perhaps maybe because the fact that power is out and the phones are down on a lot of people, nobody really knows what happened. But that's hard to believe now that it's been two days and the destruction up there is the worst destruction possibly anywhere in America. It's just unbelievable. It's absolutely unbelievable. So all these bridges are gone. I-40, you see I-40, it goes east and west, and then there's I-26 going north and south. Both of those roads are shut down. And it isn't just, well, there's trees on the road and stuff like that. You can look it up on the computer. Go to Google and look it up. There's parts of these roads where the flood damage was so bad that the entire roads are gone. The, the roads are gone. The bridges are gone. The telephone poles and all the all of the power lines and the power poles are gone. It isn't just, oh, we can get Duke Energy to go in here and fix stuff in a few days. They're going to have to rebuild everything. The flood damage is beyond belief. It's beyond belief. I feel absolutely horrible inside. The, the information I'm seeing is terrible. So I'm going to show you this. I'm going to read this to you. Hold on. This is from a girl that my wife knows that lives up there. My wife used to go to the gym and work out with her. Okay, we are still okay, but many are not. These are, uh, these still, there's still no help or aid. We can't see the news, service is not good, and I have no clue when power would be back. It could be weeks. It's gonna be longer than weeks when there's nothing there. The devastation is mind blowing, mind blowing. I haven't talked to my mom or sister since yesterday morning. Many, many people are missing. The death toll up there, I don't even know what it is. There's no way, it's, this morning it said 54. My guess is it's into the hundreds, perhaps the thousands because there you got entire villages and towns that are gone wiped out this should be full coverage on the media i've never in my entire life seen an event like this happen and the news media is not giving it immediate live coverage all of them should be doing it does anyone know if they are sending help here that's what i'd like to know and that's why i'm making this video are they going to send help here where's the media where's the national guard they there's people that are stranded that need to get to hospitals that need all kinds of medical attention they should be going in there. Any helicopters in all these cities around, including the military, they need help up there. What's it gonna take? There are people living in their cars at gas stations. I'm sure many will be out of food and water soon. It was supposed to be what it was. People are so unprepared at no fault of their own. Uh, people are in their cars on the interstate with no gas and the interstates are shut down. There's no gas, there's no food, there's no power, there's no help, there's no media covering it. Please, people, take this video that I'm making serious 
and tell everybody you know. Share it with everybody you know and alert everybody you know to cover this and help people with this. I'm going to say a prayer right now. Dear Heavenly Father, in the name of your Son, Yahshua the Messiah, I lift this entire crisis up to you right now and, and call upon you and ask you for angelic help. That's the only answer. We need angels to come down and help these people. There is such a crisis like never before in this area, and perhaps maybe our entire country has never seen destruction to this level. This is like a total wipeout. I pray for anybody that's there. Give them all help, Father. I pray that you'll open up doors, bring the right people into this path, and make some things happen. We need help in that area right now. In Yeshua's name I pray. There's so much more I can say. I, I, I'm, I'm like mind boggled. I'm like in a, a shake because I know so many people up there. I loved living up there and I really, I'm in utter shock of the destruction that's going on. It's horrible, horrible, horrible. This is a, a good friend of mine. I wanted to share this with you as well. He's one of my best friends. I was in his wedding. Uh, he lives up there. He's a great real estate agent up there in that area. He says, just getting service. He sent me this last night. We are trapped in our area in Swannanoa because all the bridges and roads are gone. People standing on roofs. It's so bad. House after house, just gone. People missing. So sad. It's a disaster zone. Apocalyptic. So sad. In all my years, I've never seen this. Forget no power. We have no roads, bridges, driveways. It's unimaginable. Please pray for everyone here. And that is more important than anything, prayer. Anybody that's watching this, please go to your church, call your pastor, wake everybody up that you know. We need to pray for all these people up there and we need to do everything we can to get the news media involved and get people involved that can help bring help to this area right now. I know the whole state of Florida's got damaged. It's horrible what's going on. This hurricane is horrific, man. And there could be another one brewing down there in the Caribbean. I hope to God there isn't because who knows where this is all going. I really don't know. This is the worst crisis I may have ever seen and in America. It's terrible. I'm going to end this video with this. And this seems like a long video, but I could talk forever because the damage is so bad. I've already talked to a bunch of people and I can't believe what I'm hearing. So this is actually somebody with North Carolina's weather authority. And they got this information from one of the police officers in Black Mountain, who's actually working to try to help save a lot of people. And here's what it says. I'm sorry to text so early. Our friend Steve, a Black Mountain police chief, got home this morning to get some rest, and then he's headed back to Black Mountain. He's been up for 72 hours evacuating and rescuing. It's catastrophic in that area. Montreat and Swannanoa are gone. Neighborhoods are gone from flooding and mudslides. They're, have, they're, have, uh, they're having to leave bodies behind. Houses are on fire. There's no communication, so people that need to be rescued can't call for help, and they have no idea where to look. The flood currently is so strong, and they were, weren't able to save some people that were in their cars. Uh, no one even knows this is going on right now because of having no communication, and that's why I'm making this video. It really means most people in America have no clue. They're all out watching college football today. Hey, everything's fine. Hey, let's put the football on. Meanwhile, you got all kinds of people fighting for their lives right now in North Carolina, and zero, zero national coverage happening. 24 hours right now is what should happen with what's going on up there. No one ever knows this is going on right now because... They have no communication. Uh, we've been watching the news since we woke up this morning and it hasn't even been mentioned. So many prayers are needed. My heart is so heavy. Yes, so many prayers are needed. Heavenly Father, I pray that millions of people in America right now will start praying for everybody in this area. Actually, everybody that's got damage and destruction from the hurricane needs prayers. But this particular area is the absolute worst from the storm, and they need immediate attention, immediate help, and prayers from everybody that listens to this video. Please share it with everybody you know. Thank you for watching.